this video is part of a fit mom's life video a fit mom's life video illustrate my day on september 16 2016 so you could check this video out i sort of fast forward it because it's in the other video i don't really like making and putting this type of video in my fitness channel but i had uh, two people who asked me how I sort of keep up with my fitness when I have two kids. So on that day, I had the energy and the will to actually record my day. So uh, I decided to put the video together. That's the Fit Mom's Life video. So this video, however, is the part that I cut out or I did not include in the uh, Fit Mom's Life video. So I wanted my workout to be separate from the other video. So, uh, for this. this video is mostly it's about the exercises and the things that I ate before I work I out. Think I'll need, uh, and pretty much it's uh, oatmeal cookies and a cup of coffee. One small one. I have a couple oh, versions of how I make the cookies. I sort of put this just to show you what I did prior heading to the gym. Mm -hmm. um, Oops, my water. And I, I like to drink the orange juice in between my workout. So now this is the video um, of what I did to, um, on that day. And uh, I only did, this is abs, and I did one set of that. Just one side. Um, because I started seeing people coming around, so there was no use for me to record uh, the entire thing. Um, when I have to come and edit the video and I have to black people's face. So pretty much this is what I'm working on. Actually, I took this picture today. Uh, what's today's date? Today is the 21st, September 21st. Um, so it's a couple of days after I did uh, this video. And uh, I have a couple videos of from my previous gym of certain ab work workout that I did. And uh, because of my uh, spine issue with my sciatica, so I sort of, uh, uh, how would I say that? I sort of, uh, not improve, I do my abs, uh, uh, my oblique differently. Um, they have a woman chair and that particular woman chair that they have is different from um, the one that I used to use in my old gym and here I did 60 reps um, 20 where the pulley is way behind me uh, and then 20 and I turned slightly toward the pulley and another 20 at close uh, close to the pulley and this is it right there and um, so it's equal to 60 so I only did one set that day um, so for the left arm this is the only thing that I did I'm not good with uh, voiceover but I'm trying my best to explain what I was doing um, I'll try you could check some other videos that I um, where I did my abs and obliques um, where I explained this a little bit more in detail and the way I positioned the camera was a bit too close as you can see you don't you don't see my entire body you only see my upper body <laughs> by luck because I try to fix the camera where you could see my whole body but as I'm editing and I'm seeing how the thing is so here I'm doing cable chop um, I believe I did 20 you guys go count either 12 or 20 the main thing here is to keep your abs your core tight and then um, you know you try to pull with your oblique As I'm doing this I'm looking at my back it looks pretty good main thing with my the type of workout that I do is that I don't um, I try not to look too bulky I just want 
my body to be shaped um, nicely and this is uh, another abs and the main thing here is that I take minimal rest and it's become my cardio um, before I did this I did um, I did warm up uh, my uh, potato cuff area because I was gonna do what did I do this day? I think I did chest um, so I sort of warm up my potato cuffs a little bit and um, since I saw there weren't that many people in this particular area there were a lot of people at the gym but in this area there weren't that many people so I pulled the camera out and I record my uh, my ab routine so I try to do my abs before I work out because um, on that day actually I saw my stomach like this I was like now I need to improve it if you see that previous I'm gonna put that other um, picture that I took today where I show you I was working my oblique I pretty much improve on that on my uh, abdominal um, here that day I felt good I felt like I could lift heavy so what I did is that um, I my PR uh, this weight is 35 pounds and I usually do 30 pounds or 32.5 uh, dumbbells so that day I felt really good um, I feel like I live heavy I don't know if it's the cookies but so I said you know what um, since I feel really good let me do uh, let me see if I uh, could uh, lift I'm showing my uh, the weight here that I was using um, so I said, let me see if I could lift that uh, 35 pound that I did on, uh, I think it was on a Monday. Um, I uh, I didn't, I think I recorded, it was kind of dark on my cell phone. So since I have the good camera and I said, let me re see if I could lift it and I could, uh, I can record it. Um, and uh, long and behold, I, I did it. And it was pretty good. Today is the 21st. So, no. This is the day that I did the PR. I'm a little bit confused with today's workout and Monday on that day. Um, that day, I, uh, I believe it was the 19th. It was a Monday. Let's see. Yep, on Monday. This workout is uh, on the 19th. I'm confusing myself. Um, so it's today that I tried to do it again, um, which I did, and I think I recorded it. So here, this particular workout, when I'm going to lift a new weight, a weight that I haven't lifted before, this is how I do it. And um, I, I'm going to put a, a copy, not a, a picture of the video that... Uh, that I did back in my old gym, how I usually position myself on the bench. Um, you could check it out and it's really good. Um, you do one arm at a time. And the reason I do that, it's because, um, so the reason I do it one arm at a time is to be able to secure myself and if by any chance I'm unable to lift the weight I have the other hand the other arm to quickly take the weight so I don't injure myself and um, and when I do this particular um, one arm press um, I don't use proper form um, although I try my best to keep my foot tight but I uh, do that in order for me to use my empty, my other hand, to catch the weight in case I'm unable to pull it. So I was kind of happy there, um, where I was able to lift it one arm at a time. I did the cross finger um, I'm gonna do both arms now um, 
um, I was a bit skeptical. I was like, shit, I don't know if I could lift it. Um, so I, uh, I prepare myself and, uh, with the spine and it's very, when I bend down like that, even though people may not see it, 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 it hurts a little bit, but not enough to trigger the, the, the back pain. So there it is. I'm like, usually the first one is hard. Then once you get the, uh, the motion going, um, you know, you could, it, it goes pretty smoothly. So my core is tight right now, and uh, I'm, as you can see, uh, well, you cannot see it. Um, I'm pushing, my heel is helping me to stabilize myself. And here I have that smile on my face. I'm like, yes, I did it. <laughs> So I think I did two sets. I don't know if I record both. I don't remember if I did both of them. Um, and then now I switch to uh, on cable fly and uh, I uh, lay on the bench. And they have a machine for this, but I like to do it like this for some reason because I, if you see my pec and. Uh, my chest area and my shoulder area you could see the thing is pulling is stretching the muscle so I like to pull uh, you do this uh, where I'm on this particular machine um, so uh, and I position the bench a bit further away from the machine so to have that extra stretch the, ma the machines that they have at the gym it's so close uh, to I don't have enough room to have that stretch pretty much so this is why I, I do this on the bench and right after I believe this is a uh, either 17.5 or 15 pound I do uh, another fly with dumbbell and uh, as you get I think I'm gonna show the weight um, it's very light it's not the heavy one because I'm doing that twisting in my, on my wrist so that's another uh, particular stretch that's happening on the chest. And I took a little breather. This is why I don't do cardio. I do so many different routines one after another. And probably I didn't count how many seconds, but uh, it's the most maybe 15 seconds. So here is a regular uh, dumbbell fly without any twisting of the wrist and right now this lightweight feels like a 50 pound because after all the other uh exercise that i did with uh um with the other weights and the uh, cable and all that it adds up this is why i use a lighter weight as i continue so now i'm doing another different type of press with the lightweight again I think I did eight. I was gonna go for ten. I remember that day very well. I, I was gonna go for ten. Yeah, see, I'm happy. I'm like, yes, I did the 35 pound. Okay, that's the 17.5. That's the lightest to do all the different flies. And what else? Okay, I didn't show the other one. That was a 35 pound. And now, um, I did another set. I didn't record it. And now I'm gonna do. Uh, regular cable flies and right now is at uh, as you can see the area is at my shoulder level and I was so bummed I'm so bummed right now seeing this you can't see my body so right now I believe it's uh, what's the weight it's five point or seven point something it's a lightweight um, and I do a crossover where my arm go cross over the other one to have maximum um, maximum uh, range of motion. I think I did 10 going like this and another 10 where I'm going straight with my elbow. It sucks that you weren't able to see it. Um, next time I do another chest I might um, I might record it again. So I moved the weight a little bit higher okay so it was a 12 it was a 12 so it was a regular fly 
not the crossover this one is the crossover because I reduce the weight there's the crossover yeah there's a crossover this is where um, I use a lighter weight to be able to do the crossover it sucks I, I have to record this again and as you can see my body is at a stationary position I don't move my body at all with the exception of my um, arms and stuff like that so now I think I went to get a, a dumbbell I think it was a 30 pound uh, I zoomed in too much this sucks so I did some back presses with the barbell um, I did I think it was uh, six reps in the back uh, and six in the front by now my shoulder was burning um, it was really burning the rack was right there so um, I didn't have to walk far to get it so, so I try not to cut the video so you see uh, the time that I take from one exercise to the other now this is a single arm fly um, you could see all the uh, muscle uh, well not yeah you could see all the muscles um, on the shoulders that as I do that again this is a lightweight um, after all those other exercises there's no way I could do it uh, with a heavy weight and as you can see I'm holding my hand is on my abdominal make to make sure that I'm squeezing my core so now I move the pulley um, to the higher level <laughs> I'm holding it it's burning <laughs> it's burning the only thing that I uh, I didn't like on this picture not only some part of my body wasn't showing but my stomach uh, Lord I ate some Oreo cookies and uh, it shows right away um, since the what is it that was the 19 now is the 21 um, I've improved on it and I'm gonna sh like I said I'll show the picture of uh, my core how I've improved on it all I had to do is eat correctly so now this is another fly just regular um, straight down fly I think that's what it calls but it's just another version of fly and I went slightly higher on that one um, I think it's 17 point something the weight on this particular machine and now I'm moving the pulley at the lower level so pretty much I'm hitting the chest all direction with minimal rest and for this I lower the weight again so I'm going different movement requires different uh, I guess load some can do heavier some can do lighter so when I put the pulley at a low, uh, lower level I lower the the weight because uh, it's really hard to do it like that okay now you see my arm I'm pushing up my elbow my back my arm is away from my body I believe this is a supinated grip okay. usually after eight repetitions um, if my if I'm starting to lose uh, control I either stop there's no reason to continue with bed form and now I'm doing um, some shoulder um, workout and it's as you can see right after the other no rest in between some lateral raises and now I'm gonna do front raise and pay attention to how I'm switching the arm see I just did with the uh, the right arm and now you can't see it properly uh, the way I have the camera um, I right after I do the lateral raise with the right arm I switch with the left doing front raise because of the position of the pulley now while the right arm was resting um, when I was doing with the left 
the front ways now I switch I'm doing front ways with the right arm and meanwhile the left arm is resting and there I use the same one I switch with the left arm to the left arm and now I'm gonna do lateral raises you can't see the whole position but this is how I do my cardio minimal rest even though my whole body is not resting but the muscles that are doing the workout are resting in between so I switch around to uh, and now showing my heart rate 112 I believe that's uh, 142 calories um, from doing that so thank you for watching Please subscribe, like and share and give a thumbs up if you like this video.